Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for Star Renegades. Now Star Renegades is a science fiction roguelike strategy RPG with some really really nice pixelated graphics. Now this is a game that um, I've been playing full on really since it was released just a couple of days ago on the PlayStation 4 um, and I have to say I've been really really enjoying this game. Now this game I was aware of, I just wasn't sure when it was coming out on the PlayStation 4. I have seen videos of this about six months ago. I think even Angry Joe put a video up of this uh, while he was playing it. Um, so it's a game I was aware of, I just had no idea of the release date. Um, and this game, in regards to story, and I won't go into great deal of depth with the story on games like this. I, I never like to ruin stories, but essentially you are a group of renegades uh, resistance whatever you want to call yourselves i mean the title suggests renegades um, and you travel from planet to planet um, and your job is to wipe out these this these evil alien races on these planets uh, each time you do that you will then travel to the next planet so on and so forth now the twist here with this game is, well in fact there's quite a few twists here in this game, uh, gameplay elements that make this quite an interesting and strategic game, is uh, once you get over the initial tutorial intro of the game, which is about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, that teaches you the mechanics of the game and things like that, um, you are then thrust onto these planets and you've got a squad of players um, that you can uh, go into, you can recruit, you recruit a couple early on. Um, and then as the game progresses you can recruit other people into your squad and things like that which is a really nice addition too. Um, so you're on these planets and then it's for you to patrol these planets and get into these scuffles with these enemies. Now the twist here is you've got three days on each planet. Uh, three in-game days should I say, not our days, not real life days. Um, and you go around doing battle with the these um, enemies, these aliens, these robotic creatures. You know, there's a wide variety of them. Um, and then, on an on a night, you, you your squad gets to camp. Now, while you're camping, you can rest, you can heal up your squad mates, you can give each other cards. It's like a, a card element to the game to like give yourself buffs for the next for the following day. Um, and then you go into the second day, and on the third day, the the behemoth or the big or the big boss will land on that planet, and then you'll face them. Basically, if you're not if you've not progressed well enough, and you've not leveled up enough, and you've not got your squad some nice new equipment, you're going to really struggle against this boss. Um, so it's it's for you to really do as many battles as you can, because when you complete these battles, um, you'll get you'll be able to level up your squad. Now, and also get your equipment. Um, so there's loads of different gameplay elements here uh, in play. You, during the day, you're travelling around the map, fighting these enemies. Um, you, you've got things to investigate on the maps to get more resources. You might, might find crates with weapons in. You might find credits. Uh, other little buffs lying around. Um, but also on an evening, just before you camp, you can freely explore the areas you've already opened on the map to see if there's any other like secrets appear during the night and sometimes there are and then you'll go into the camp mode uh, which is a really nice it's a bit like Final Fantasy uh, 15 is it you know when they camp on an evening and you like give each other these buffs and another element of the gameplay as well is if, if you give a squad mate a card to buff them and make them stronger it builds their relationship so the longer you can keep this squad together the, the better their bond will be and their relationship will be and they'll fight better together. Um, now, if you go through this map and you're, you die, um, all your squad dies, basically. You'll get booted off the planet and you get sent back to your base. Um, and you can retry again on the same planet, but it's procedurally generated, so it'll be laid out differently. Uh, but you all start at the base level, so um, if you were level 1 when you started that planet and you all die and you get booted off, even though you might have leveled up 3 or 4 times, you might have got up to level 4, you'll go back into that planet level 1 again, so that, that you lose all those levels up that you did. Which is a really nice element, it happened to me on my first planet and I got booted off it, 
because um, I, I lost against like the boss uh, enemy and I went back in and I, w I found I was level 1 again I'm like oh no but you learn from your mistakes and you're thinking you know you gotta, it's a bit more strategic about how you level up and what what equipment you're going to give each person and who you're going to level up first and all that kind of stuff and what cards you're going to give each other will give you an advantage in battles and then that's to say nothing about the battles themselves I mean the battles themselves are really really fun and strategic the turn based um and you can you can see what your enemy's next move is going to be pretty much and you see who they're going to target and you've got to be quite strategic you might have three or four squad mates for example um and then you might have one like just do a straight attack you might have one that break that like, break down the defenses of this uh, other one here uh, you'll do an, another one who you know is going to be targeted so you might like do like a uh, a defensive move with that one um, so it, it it's a it's a balance between full on attacking and being a bit more strategic uh, and trying to break down their defenses and things like that because if you, if you spend if you spend the time to break down the defenses of quite a strong uh, enemy it makes them easier to kill um so i've i really really enjoy all these elements that they're putting into this game it makes it really really rich um uh, and enjoyable um, and very very strategic as well um, in be like I say in between planets you can go back um, like to your base and you can go to the vendors and things like that and you can buy new weapons new uh, um, gauntlets depending on uh, who you've got in your squad and their skills will vary wildly you might have a, a range based person in your squad you might have someone uh, who is sword based um, you might have uh, somebody else who is, you know, um, more strategic. You know, you've you've got different elements to your squad mates, and it's about you learning what their strengths and weaknesses are and using them uh, to your advantage in battles. Um, and I really enjoy um, this game. Another thing that this game has, as well, what I almost forgot to mention, is it's it's got like a nemesis system, very very similar to the Shadow of Mordor games. Uh, it's similar in concept anyway so if you lose on one of these planets and you get booted off the surviving enemies like the lieutenants and the bosses will buff up they, so they, they survive they beat you so they'll buff up and they'll level up so next time you face them going to be a little bit stronger um, really really cool element so you've almost got this um, you've got almost got like a nemesis system in place as well that uh, gives you extra incentive to take them out next time. And like I say, the, the levels are procedurally generated, so it looks different every time you go in. I think it's a really cute looking game as well. I mean, I really do like the visuals here. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan out there of pixelated graphics. I think I think there's an argument to be had that they're overused these days. I think um, this, the retro look and things like that. But I think this game uses it to perfection. I think some of the visuals look absolutely stunning at times. I'm not going to lie. Great, great music in the game as well. It's really catchy music. It's in the game. There's no voice acting. It's all text-based. Now, that's normally a bit of a letdown for me. I, I, I Generally speaking, I like voice acting in games. It helps me engage more. But I've actually been quite enjoying uh, this game, even without the voice acting. Um, it's quite light, the text-based stuff. And overall, I think this is a game that um, I really do recommend. Um, it's... It's got some really, really cool um, gameplay mechanics that they've implemented into the game. Very, very strategic. And if it's, this is your sort of uh, roguelike strategic RPG and it sounds interesting to you, I can't really recommend this one highly enough. I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Pretty cheap to pick up. I think I picked it up uh, in the PlayStation Store for about £12. I think that was with a PlayStation Plus offer to reduce some of that. Um, so yeah, check it out guys. If the, uh, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm going to continue to put a lot more time into the game. But it is certainly a game that I do recommend. And it's not really going to um, put you out of pocket as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to click the like button if you did. And of course I will be back with more reviews on Screen Stars very, very soon.